Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me again. You all seem to like the 2009 iMac videos, so here's another. Also, make sure to like and subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss upcoming videos. So here's the story. I was given a mostly complete 2009 27-inch iMac missing the GPU and hard drive. I suspect the GPU was pulled to repair another unit since this was such a common failure. More recently, I acquired another two 27-inch iMacs for parts and a spare GPU. These were missing screens, one was a 2009 with a destroyed LCD connector, and one was a 2011 with a mangled frame, but I was hoping one of them had a working GPU. The extra GPU was very as-is and presumed faulty. Then I got a brilliant idea, or so I thought. The 2009 and 2011 used the same chassis and were very similar in most regards. If I could swap the main board into the good chassis, I could upgrade the i5 Sandy Bridge CPU to an i7 I have on hand, yielding a two-generation jump. After a significant amount of reading, I discovered that Apple changed the LCD connections, and while possible to convert it, I decided to scrap the idea because it involved ordering parts I didn't already have. So the game plan became repairing the most complete unit. This unit already has a Core i7, while the other 2009 has a Core i5. First order of business was testing what all works and what doesn't. Since I'm unable to connect my screen to the 2011, and because the LCD connector is destroyed on the 2009 parts unit, I connected a mini DisplayPort cable to an external monitor to test these units. In a huge disappointment, both GPUs suffer from the same GPU failure and have artifacting on screen. I thought this was the end of the project, but in a stroke of luck, the mystery GPU turned out working perfectly. I installed the new GPU in the i7 iMac and no fan spin. But why? Well, it turns out the power supply was also faulty. And then it occurred to me, this machine probably sacrificed its GPU because the power supply failed. No problem though, the power supply on the 2009 parts unit works great. Fortunately for the parts machine, I also had all the mounting screws as well as the hard drive bracket and screws. The parts machine had its hard drive drilled, but I moved it over to keep all the mounting hardware together. Obviously I left the drive unplugged. Since I don't know what purpose this machine will serve yet, I didn't want to tie up any particular hard drive or any amount of RAM in it just yet. The purpose of this project was to repair the machine. I will install storage and upgrade RAM at a later date. For testing, I had a USB bootable installation of Windows 10. Yes, I know, I've tainted the Apple with Windows, but I didn't have a bootable installed copy of macOS handy, and I wasn't about to spend an hour installing it just to confirm whether the machine was working. But this allows me to confirm the GPU is working properly, and the system appears to run normally with the newly installed power supply. I hope you like this video. Hitting the like and subscribe buttons really helps me grow this channel. Also, comment below and let me know about your repair projects or your experience with similar Macs. Until next time.